We expect classic Trump. That's what thousands have come here for. They want to hear him sock it to Hillary. This is a live look inside the Sharonville Convention Center. Beforehand, he's got some private schmoozing to do with big donors, although behind in the money race, he's competitively close to Clinton in Ohio polling. Strumming and singing for Trump. That may be it's rally number 36 for Craig Moss, who has recorded a CD of Trumpian songs like Save Our Nation and Gonna Build a Wall. His son Rob died of a fentanyl overdose two years ago. And like many who arrived more than 12 hours early for tonight's rally, he believes Trump will speak solutions, not political palaver. He came from behind that podium, front of that stage in Urbandale, Iowa, and uh, first he said, I want to let you know I'm, I'm sorry for your loss. It's got to be tough. For those without umbrellas, it was a tough wait in the summer sun this morning, but Noel Rooks in the shades on the left had to be first in line. Talked to a friend who's all about Bernie into joining her at 1 a.m. The Moss man kept it real for them. A mini second line of Trump energy broke out now and again. We asked around about the appeal of such an unconventional campaign. I mean, since I've started following Donald Trump and becoming a huge fan of his, I felt so patriotic. Like, I just feel he makes you feel proud to be an American, and that's how it should be. I notice a lot of the younger generation is voting for Trump, um, and not that there's nothing wrong with it, but I think a lot of people want to see somebody in office that's not with politics, like he's somebody different. They waited out here all day as if by doing so they could channel some of the alpha dog strength that they see and admire in the candidate they've come to cheer this evening. How about Donald Trump's son? Uh, Donald Trump for president zone. Let's hear it. You want to hear one? And this is a live look again inside. In a couple of hours, they'll be hearing from Newt Gingrich. The buzz here is that he's auditioning for a spot on the ticket. He's on the short list for vice presidential consideration. Two weeks out from the Cleveland co Convention, Trump is expected to name a running mate perhaps as soon as next week. We are live at Sharonville, John London, WWT News Bob. All right, John, thank you. Right across the street from the convention center, dozens have a tough message for Trump. They say he's not welcome here. WLWT News Spies Dan Griffin live in Sharonville with their take. Dan. Hey, Mike and Cherie, you know, these anti-Trump protesters are out here making their message very clear. Some of them wearing shirts, others wearing posters right in front of them to make sure everyone passing by and Donald Trump himself knows how they feel. Protesters say Donald Trump is not fit to be president. They say his economic and trade plans just don't add up. They say he's epically unqualified, a con man and a pathological liar. Cincinnati Councilman P.G. Sittenfeld, who was also here, he says Trump is an outsourcer and someone who will rip people off in Ohio. Protesters we're talking with tonight. Tell us bringing Newt Gingrich here is not going to change that. He's uh, completely unfit to be president of the United States and his values are, are not Cincinnati values and, and he needs to uh, be shown that this is not the kind of his divisive rhetoric is not what we stand for in Cincinnati. Tonight, certainly showing the passionate two sides coming together as the protesters were standing here outside of the convention center. A woman drove by in her gray minivan screaming, go home, Hillary. These protesters certainly making their message clear and supporters here for uh, Donald Trump also making their messages also very clear. We are live for you tonight just outside the Sharonville Convention Center. Dan Griffin, WLWT News 5.